And look at my face. So what happens when you get 2% body face? 2% body fat? Your fucking skull. Your skull pops out of your face. That's how you tell someone's 2% body fat or really lean when you get this skeletal fucking Lance Armstrong with his Lance... That's 2% body fat. That's the face you get. There's all these people on uh, these YouTube fitness channels, these guys thinking they're... I mean, they're 50 pounds overweight from competition weight a few weeks out. So, hang on, guys. Stop eating the junk. Anyway, I digress. But this, this question is sort of similar because this guy... Eric's writing me from Vegas. Hey guys, I've been following you guys freely for a while. I don't know what you guys are doing. Cheers. Appreciate it straight up. I'm no BS on output and issues. So no BS. Or else Eric's asked me if I'd tell him the fucking Duran writer straight up. The reason I'm reaching out to you is six months back I started my journey to veganism and a healthy lifestyle. Uh, fast forward, my friend, best friend died in a traffic car accident. So that's life, man. Things, people come and go. It's... Life's precious, life's short, life's fleeting. Every day is the day to enjoy it. You don't know when this... Tomorrow could be our last day. Live today like tomorrow's your last day. Live a positive legacy. Ever since this point, I've been on a disgusting binge creating crisis. So ever since friends passed away, he's been eating shit. I eat fast food and ice cream almost daily, so I'm assuming it's not vegan. I feel pathetic. I'm letting myself go to this point. 30 pounds overweight, 20 of which have been in the last three months. So these guys gained 30 pounds... What's Eric's goal? I'm just a long one, so I'm just skimming it for you guys. I've got a baby on the way. How do I get out of this disastrous cycle? Thanks for anything you can offer. Again, I don't know what I need and I'm asking for. just thought you might be able to help. Eric from Vegas. 30 pounds overweight. Feel like shit. What the fuck do you think you should do, Eric? You ask for the no bullshit approach, I'm going to give it to straight up. Seriously, bro, what the fuck do you think you should do? you got a baby in the way, you're going to be dad soon, you're 30 pounds overweight, you feel like shit. What do you think you need to do? That's what you need to fucking do. That's what you need to do. High carb, low fat, low protein, low sodium. You're going to fucking have the 2% body fat in due time. Throw a little bit of sport in there. Do a bit of running, a little bit of cycling. Not too much, just a little bit. Just cruise around, get on Strava. You gotta look after your health and you gotta get the calories in. If you're in a stressful situation, be it positive stress or, or negative stress, you need more calories to process that stress. That's just how it is. When I give a talk, it is like for me, running a marathon or riding 200 Ks. It's all positive stress. I'm like out there, I'm just, you know, answering people's questions all day, all in, late in the evening, just blah, 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 on, on, on. It's, it feels like. I've ran a, a marathon, no, it feels like more than a marathon, it feels like a bit of like an ultra marathon and a 200k bike ride. That's how it feels like energy wise, glycogen wise, hydration wise, I'm like, oof, I'm spent. Same when you're stressed negatively. For me, you're doing public speaking, that's a positive stress for me, I love it. I love riding my bike, I love running a marathon twice a year, <laughs> I love doing things that I love to do. Stressful situation, negative stress, when's the last time I had that? My dad died in 2009. That was just a negative stress situation. What did I do? I ate more food than I normally would eat because I had a bit more negative stress in there. What foods did I reach for? Bananas wrapped in plastic bags to ripen them up quicker. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm allergic to bananas, I think. I started eating more food until I could process the passing of my father. And I thought, hey, what does my dad want me to do? Dad was proud of my health and fitness exploits. He's always proud of me. He didn't agree with what I did, but he said, it's good what you're doing, man. And I think it's crazy, but it's, it's you, working for you. Keep it up. So my dad is proud of my positive habits. So I'm like, well, what am I going to do? My dad's dead. Am I going to go back in a negative cycle of drugs and shit food, like what society says you should do? Or am I going to live by the values my dad is proud of and that I'm proud of and everyone else is, who's worthwhile is proud of as well? What am I going to do? What the fuck are you going to do? Of course, you're going to go with what is the right thing to do. It's always the right time to do the right thing. So, Eric, all you need to do, man, it's fucking simple as. All you need to do is carb the fuck up. Simple as that. Carb the fuck up. You have to worry about this, like, you know, uh, karmic, whatever, or just, you know, all these 
you don't have to worry about all the spiritual woo-woo nonsense out there. Like, you know, just just carve the fuck up. And all of a sudden, you're like, wow, you know. You know, friends gone, but hey, man, we had some good times together. And what would my mate want me to do? How would my mate want me to feel right now? Depressed, shit, eating shit food that I'm going to regret later on. What would my friend want me to do? Do that. And it's not abuse ourselves. It's not abuse other people. It's to respect ourselves. So carve the fuck up. Get your fruit. You don't like fruit? <laughs> is it is a fucking brain twister for a lot of you. Get some sugar in there. I'm going to do a video about this one. This is coconut sugar. Wolf sells it. Monarch sells it. Cousin sells it. They use it all the tree of life. All those places. It's sugar. It's from Indonesia. <laughs> it's from Indonesia. In Australia, it sells for 20 bucks a kilo. <laughs> so Indonesia has probably cost five cents to produce. But on the back, it's 100% sugar. 100% sugar. So you might in your head go, Oh, I can't eat that. But I'm going to go out to fucking uh, Ben and Jerry's and eat that shit. So how about you get your ripe bananas with a fucking pound of sugar, blend these fuckers together, put it in the freezer or whatever, eat it, add a bit of sur milk or whatever, a bit of vanilla sur milk, whatever, man. Get you off the fucking bovine growth hormone, grass-fed dairy, blow the fuck out of your gut, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Scream. Ice cream. Because ice cream at the abuse I'm doing to my body when I eat that shit. So that's all there is to it, man. You just need to carve the fuck up. You need to start carving the fuck up. You need to start carving the fuck up. You need to start carving the fuck up, man. And then you'll start going to bed early and you're going to start feeling better. You're going to start being more hydrated. Your cells are going to be more alive. You're going to go, wow, I'm satiated. I don't need that shit because I'm getting my carbohydrates. What you're doing now is you're eating the shit. You're getting your carbohydrates. You're getting all this fat with it, all this salt with it, all this grease with it, all this animal protein with it, all this animal fat with it, all this cholesterol, endotoxins, all that shit with it. And you're feeling fucked. I don't know how you feel, man. I used to eat that shit. Look on YouTube, man. There's plenty of people still eating that shit. 50 pounds overweight from their gold weight. And then they starve, 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 starve for some bodybuilding natural competition. Get that idea weight and then pff, blow back out again. you got to get off the wagon, man. Off that death wagon. Get on the health wagon. It's just a choice in the moment. So again, Eric, man, carve the fuck up. Seriously, bro. Seriously, man. That's all it is to it. 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day, 5 grams of carbs per pound of body weight per day. And what else are you going to do? <laughs> what else are you going to do? It's sort of like, <laughs> it's like if you need to go to the toilet, you go to the toilet or you shit your pants. There's, there's only two options. There's no in between. You either carb the fuck up on healthy foods or you're going to eat the shit. There's, there's, there's no in between. It's just one or the other. It's black and white. There's no grey. There's no like, oh, I'm, I'm, there isn't. You either go to the toilet or you shit your pants. You either eat clean or you eat junk. As simple as that. And yeah, some people have maybe like, oh, this is healthy though. This is like, that, you know, this is grass fed or like, you know, shitting on the carpet's okay. I didn't shit in my pants. I didn't shit in the toilet. I was shitting the carpet. That's okay. No, it's still bad. That food's still bad. Clean or junk. You decide. So that's all we got to do. That's what I did. That's what I'd recommend you do. That's what I'd recommend anybody do. Look after your sleep, water, sugar, your basic human physiological needs. Otherwise, it's, man, I can't talk to people unless they're carved up. It's like telling a drunk person they're too drunk to drive. I'm alright, mate. I don't know no, what I'm doing, mate. I'm fucking fine. You don't know me. I'm a good driver, mate. Hell experience, bro. Hell experience, bro. And they're dead the next day. When someone's on the carb, you can't rationalize with them. It's like you got to force feed the fucking sugar into them, man. You gotta force feed it into them. Get it in there, bro. You gotta force feed yourself. Otherwise, <laughs> what are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna do? I mean, you're halfway there, man. All you have to do, you know what to do now. Now you just gotta put it to action. Do what you know. Do what you know. Follow your heart above all. Follow your heart. Done.